Well, hello, and welcome to A Tale of Three Cabins. We're down here in Tennessee doing our uh, chores, taking a little week of uh, odds and ends we got to do down here. I'm just shutting down the fireplace for the season. It's going to be in the mid 80s today, so I don't think we're going to need the fireplace anymore. Um, it's also kind of aggravating when the fireplace is being used and they're running the air conditioner to keep the temperature down in here. So, um, why don't you stick around? We're going to do some chores around here. We might have a, a good project. We had a little mudslide and I'm hoping that we get to take care of that while we're down here. So cross your fingers and come check it out. So we have three security cameras that watch the three sides of our cabin. And we're using it primarily just uh, for weather conditions and, uh, you know, making sure who's, uh, who's showing up are the right people and, you know, keeping an eye on our place because we're so far away. Two months ago, something caught my eye. And if you watch the right side of the screen, a before shot and now an after shot, um, there's a good chunk of the earth missing. And I know we had about five inches of rain just prior to this picture. So we had a good little mudslide and washed away a good part of the found not the foundation but the soil around our cabin there and it's kind of infringing upon our propane tank so this was a definite concern and I had the cleaners send me a couple pictures and now that I see it live um, you can see where the dirt used to be and um, a good little chunk of our driveway or parking area is gone so we're going to hopefully get this taken care of while we're down here. I'm going to try to line up some, uh, um, some dirt to be delivered and some guys to spread it around for me. Now since early April, which is about three, four weeks ago, I've been in contact with a guy to let him know when we're coming down in our window of opportunity to get this taken care of. But believe it or not, he's having trouble finding someone to deliver dirt. And I'm a little concerned because I want to get this taken care of while we're down here. But our first couple days, it doesn't look like it's going to happen according to the text I've been getting back and forth from them. So in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and continue with the chores that uh, we decided we're going to do. And hopefully get this taken care of. Practically on top of a mountain it can get pretty windy and the weather can come in and out pretty quick. We had a driving rain come in here and we noticed a little leak over by our back door that leads out to the deck. So I'm pretty sure it's um, leaking because the deck was put in before the siding was.
So we're in our fourth day here and we decided to venture out on a little hike. We've been pretty much around the cabin doing work all this time and just wanted to get out into the mountains. And today we're going to check out an area that contains the Walker Sisters cabin. So I guess this might be a tale of four cabins. This would be considered a spring house where they would store stuff that they didn't want to perish and there was a spring that runs underneath it and the cool water from the mountains tries to keep it cool inside. So six of the Walker sisters spent their entire lives living in this cabin that was built by their grandfather in 1840. They were one of the last holdouts when the Great Smoky Mountains became a national park. In 1964, the last sister died, and then the cabin was turned over to the park. The Walker family has a very interesting story, and just walking around this area really makes you wonder, still in the 1960s, to be living in a cabin like this. Over a mile's walk away is the schoolhouse where they all went to school. And in the background there is the cemetery where most of them are buried. You never get tired of the sunsets around here and it's the end of another day. Tomorrow I hear that it sounds like we're going to get some dirt delivered, so keep your fingers crossed. One nice thing is if you're expecting a delivery with a large truck, you usually have a good heads up before it gets there, as you can hear it coming from quite a ways away. Okay, so that's going to do it for today. Thanks for checking us out. Hope you subscribe and like us and keep an eye on it.